Oh, hi, everybody. This is where you get a chance to ask us a question, and we get a chance to answer the question. It's coming from the disembodied voice of Patrick. John, happy birthday. Oh, hey, thank you. What was your best birth? What was the best birthday present you've ever received, and why? Wasn't supposed to be a present, but we had a party. I was six years old or seven years old, and my mother said, "Your friends are coming over for the cake and the ice cream. You guys are going to play a different game, like sack races. Remember sack races? Mm -hmm. But I don't want you to go over to the uh, to the Walnow's house and poke the dead dog that's down in the construction ditch with a stick." No, I had not thought of poking a dead dog in the construction <laughs> ditch with a stick until she brought it up. Yeah. So we did uh, sack races, and then we all got sticks and went over and poked a dead dog. And that was probably not exactly a gift that my mom had intended, but, but that was one that still stays with me to the, some 50 some days, 50 years, years later. It was your best birthday. It was not your best Absolutely. birthday gift. <laughs> Poking the, it was a beagle, and it had fallen into oh, this ditch, no. and he had a and leash died. on, and he died, he choked. Oh. And while he was in there, we all, we all poked him. <laughs> Tom! You there were a limited stick. number of sticks, so each one of us had to wait. <laughs> and a borrow of sticks. It was terrible. God, you're so humane. Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, this Get might the flies be a two off his eyes, I said. <laughs> it might be a two-parter. Okay. Uh-oh. Have you ever been arrested, and if so, why? Well, no, of course not. I've never of course been arrested. Not. I am a law-abiding citizen. So now I have a follow-up, being that we assumed that that would be a no. Yeah, Tom's a coward. If coward. not... This might be along the lines of what John was just telling us about. Yeah. Tell us about one of the craziest things you did as a child. Once I colored outside the lines. <laughs> <laughs> craziest thing I did as a child? Oh, it was wild. Crazy. Well, I'm the oldest of four brothers, and apparently I terrorized them uh, through chicanery when I was a kid. How was that? So... <laughs> Crazy wow. is not it, but I, I, I sort of inadvertently picked on them. For instance, I, we had like a little, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a, a kind of a fort we carved out of the, of the jungle bushes, and we had like a little, um, I don't know, what, like a club, you know, and we all did these, we, we told stories and that kind of stuff, and I, we, we brought out, we had macaroni and cheese made, you know, mom made it, and we brought it out, and we were eating out in, <laughs> in our little, uh, Hut or whatever there, and I told my brothers, this is about as crazy as I get, put a lot of salt on it, mm. put a lot of salt, oh. and they said, well, I don't know if I like how much salt, no, no, really put a lot of salt, I'm, I'm going to put a little salt on it and just taste it, oh. and see how good, and I said, no, and I told my brothers, no, 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 Joe, Joe, you can't do that, you got to put, you, you missed the point, you got to put a whole bunch of salt, and then put the entire thing in, you, in your mouth, then you get this full bloom of a real great taste and wow. so my poor brothers and you didn't go to jail for that <laughs> so there all my brothers are born on some really really tough really and then they go <laughs> and they just they were just so god you betrayed us tom and i'm so not like that in person but that's the kind of way i terrorized my younger brothers